Hello and welcome to MIP TV. And with me as always is Bob Cook from the Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy, complete with Davros the Dalek behind him to help us with one of our book reviews. And this book review is book review 16, isn't it, Bob? Correct. Yes, it certainly is. Yeah. And this book is Relational TA Principles and Practice. Uh, quite an interesting and from what I've, I've heard from from you in the preamble quite an important book in in a in in the history of ta yes in 2008 the seminal book on relational transaction analysis came out by lena hargaden and charles now this book followed 2011 edited by charles sills and heather fowley and they bring together 15 or 16 of their contemporary colleagues who take a chapter each to talk about the principles of relational transaction analysis as they see it. Yeah. Yeah. And as I say, it was, it's sometimes, it's sometimes called a relational turn, isn't it? In TA where, oh. where that, that research that came from North cross, um, oh. which was some research about the quality of the relationship being the, arbiter of a successful outcome really kind of yeah. put TA on a different path didn't it yeah I suppose what we had Northcross was a researcher not particularly in TA but he and his colleagues researched um, uh, and dialogue with many clients mm. uh, I don't know how many over a thousand and they found in this research that the relationship was the curative factor not the approach yeah, uh, they would argue that it didn't matter whether it was a gestaltist, an existentialist, a person-centered therapist, that the relationship is cure. You know, the relationship is figure. So um, that was late, uh, beginning of the century, early 1990s, that decade. And you had that phrase, the relational turn, because many of the different psychotherapy disciplines followed that um, research, really. And TA is no um, different. They were a bit later. They started to explore the whole idea of relational um, TA in 2002. And then they produced, and I say they, I mean, Harder and Sills in 2008, this seminal book, which won the Eric Byrne Memorial Award oh. called Relational TA. And then this book I'm talking about here, edited by Charlotte Sills and Heather Fowley, really get their colleagues together from the relational school and TA to talk about different aspects, different principles of their approach. Yeah. And, and I, I get this, I get the sense of this book. It's an important book because it, it yes. kind of catalogs the turn and the theory behind yes. the turn and, and more yes. to the point how, how it's applied relationally. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Because the, because this is very different because you, if you sort of chart the other schools, so if, if you chart burn, Early, you know, uh, late 60s, if you like, following with Cathexa School, Jackie Schiff, following with the Redecision School with the Gouldings, going up to the Integrative School with Richard Erskine in the late 1980s. And then, you know, we have the uh, move really to the Relational School and reworking the transfers in the here and now. So the methods are very different and the focus on the relationship and the transference and reworking in the present really hallmarks the relational school of transaction analysis in the, in the modern century. Yeah, and when you talk about reworking the transference, do you want to give us an example of that, Bob? Yeah, so classic transference, parent-child transference. So Clark walks in the room and says, gosh, when you look at me like that, I feel like I, th I am three years a old again being told off by you and I feel really young so the sort of classical way, way of working that in transaction analysis would be often to, to use the regression to go back to look at the deficits to explore the relationship of the parent and the younger child and what was missing back in the different time zone yeah and the aim would be about looking at deficits and helping the person transform their defenses in a different way however you go back in time yes mm. well as to the relational school 2008 about the present time and actually we work in the transference then so what would happen there would be 
the therapist would say, ah, oh, I'm actually not your mother, though I hear you feel that I am and you have feelings about this. Actually, I'm not. Let's look at what what we can do in the relationship where there could be some sort of change here. Yeah. So you'd stay within the relationship to, you know, in, in, in the moment. Yeah, so instead of it's, it's staying in the here and now, isn't it? As, as opposed yeah. to, you know, the, the, going back to the there and then. So very, very much, um, you know, a kind of a kind of here and now approach. Yeah, and that's a really good example of the change. So the book is Relational TA. It was in, it published in 2011, a recent book um, by Heather Crowley and Charlotte Stills. Yeah, Heather Fowler, yeah, Heather Fowler and Charlotte Stills. Stills. So it's Relational Transaction Analysis Principles in Practice yeah. by Heather Fowler and Charlotte Stills. And as I said, they put together at least, um, it's quite a big book really, it's about 400 pages, 16 of their contemporary colleagues talking about all the different principles of relational transaction analysis as it stemmed from 2008. Yeah, so an important book I would imagine for a student yeah. and, yeah. and also for, you know, for someone who is practicing practitioner, maybe who, who didn't do the relational didn't do that school who was taught the different yeah. skill to to catch up on the latest ideas yeah and, it, and this school isn't easy for a therapist to master um, because you have to know yourself very well mm. you need quite a lot of therapy you need to know your own counter transference you need to know what's being invoked you know in terms of the, in the moment because you're going to be using present time and you're going to be sharing a lot of yourself because the relationship between the therapist and client is key here yeah yeah and that could that will come across i would imagine in the book as always bob isn't uh, doing this as a sponsorship it's not a paid review bob's just showing his love of literature um for the uh, for the audience and we will put a, a picture of the book and the title of the book at the end of this video and a link in the description bar mm -hmm. below so that people if they want to inspect it or or get a copy then click on and they can uh, go and find it so as always bob cook thank you very much thank you